Hello. Um, I'm here today to talk about my China hit. Now, you have heard me brag about my good friend Brain, and you've seen his work before on a lot of my other videos. Well, I'm going to say this again. He has a real talent and a real gift with dolls. I sent my friend Brain, my China head, and a dollhouse grandma doll that my mother bought at a doll show. They were both naked, and I asked him to dress them for us. And we got them today, and we were just ecstatic. Now, I'm going to show you my China head, and then I'm going to show you the grandma doll, because my mom has already put her in the country store scene. This way. Now, this is the China head. Now, this outfit is beautiful. The color is gorgeous. He even made a handkerchief and embroidered my initials on it with thread that matched the dress. Now, you're probably saying, oh, that's just a regular old dress. Nothing too special about that. Well, I'm fixing to show you. Well, for one, you can see the button system on the back. It's not snaps. It's, you know, original, you know, old-fashioned buttons. The, the top and the skirt are separate. This is a 10-piece outfit. And, um, then we have the petticoat. This is all hand-stitched, the pleating and everything. Then we have the bloomers. And he even made some Mexican leather shoes and these awesome socks for her. Now, he did this because she matches around the time twin, or the time period twin, you know, settlers and things would, you know, trade with Indians. So, he made her dress to where, you know, she's a little, she's a young woman who traded with Indians, who came along to Indian camp and traded with, with them for shoes and socks. I mean, isn't that great? I mean, she's beautiful. He has not left any detail out. She is absolutely wonderful. And I love her. He even made an undershirt for under the blouse. I mean, she looks great. She's a flat top China head. And um, I just think the napkin, which he pinned onto the outfit, so it won't go away, is just a great touch. Just show that embroidering again. Now, I love her. She is just beautiful. And the socks and the shoes are just something fun and quirky. You know? I love her. And everything I get from him has a smell. She smells kind of like cinnamon and caramel. Or cinnamon apple or something like that. I'm not kidding. She smells great. <laughs> okay, enough of the smelling of the dress. I'm going to now show you my mom's. Thank you, Brain, for fixing my little doll, this little outfit. I love it. It is awesome. It, I mean, it's very well made, it's period, it's just gorgeous. I love her. And she looks really good in my little country store. I like to get a little rocking chair for her though. But I really appreciate it. She's awesome. And I couldn't have I couldn't have asked for better. <laughs> it's just wonderful. And I'm very excited to have her home. Thank you very much. Okay, now we are in the dining room. 
And this is where my mom has her little country display, country store display. Sorry, it's, um, let me flip on some lights. Okay, that helps a little. But um, my mom has already put the doll in the store. Isn't she great? And Mama put a little broom with her. I'm going to pick her up. She um, he even made bloomers for her. The apron, the ribbon goes all the way through the top of the apron. He even made a little hang, a little handkerchief, or you know, thing for her. And she looks great. My mom was absolutely thrilled with the work for her and she's here with the um, rest of the little country store set up but that she looks amazing we were very pleased with her and pleased with the work I mean she's such a small doll and he did such great work in such great detail. You can see she's got the pleating like my chain head does on her apron. Well, I have to say, Brain is very talented and very gifted. And I'm going to put a link to his um, YouTube and stuff on here. And, um,. Go encourage him. Hit him up. Ask him for, to do stuff because he loves to work with dolls. And I'm sure he'd love to work with yours. Bye.